db you can see now po master po details what i meant is po master can have many details there is no issue that's what you are seeing it here one po master many details whereas i'm taking it in a reverse side one item order cannot have multiple po that means if i have to go through one po can have many item whenever i order an item there should be a po this is called one to many it is always bottom sorry top to bottom master is top bottom is details so master is always connected to details in turn a detail can be connected to single master a detail cannot be connected to multiple master this is called one to many i am trying to explain you on a one order multiple dispatch so i'll try to explain it in another sense i have esr request st request Okay, so now you can see these entities, JR PO mapping, JR is nothing but job request and job request is an independent candidate, right, and PO, PO is an independent candidate. So without a job request, I cannot have a PO, this is what it means, that means without somebody requesting for an order, I cannot create a PO. That is what you are able to see in the PO master. So PO master can come only if I have a request. Right? That is my initial mapping. So I now go to select star from vs underscore job underscore request. It is an independent master now. Job request is an independent master. I will take it as descending order by one. All this I will explain it. Don't worry how, what is the syntax, etc. Assume that there is one here, job request 31. I will take that as my one entity. It can have an order, it may not have an order, but I will take it as entity. I will go to mapping so that I will know whether I have a, I take order which has a mapping. JR PO mapping. All these are live projects. Select star from. Object name select star from BS underscore. Now I'll take again descending order by one descending last one will appear here. So PO ID is 176. PO ID is 176. I am mapping this PO to a job order. So here one PO can be based on multiple. You can see now there are different PO ID for a single job order called 32. Job request is 32. I will now take only for job request 32 from vs jrpo mapping where jr id equals 32 i'll just take one information over here so 32 can have multiple po one po can have multiple jr as well both are possible this becomes called mapping right this is possible because I may not all requested items I may not order it in a single order I might order it in the multiple orders so in such situations I may have one PO multiple JR as well so I am just trying to see a sample on that 
If it is there, I will show you here. 1 PO multiple job order. 1 PO multiple job order. Okay. I'll what I'll do is order by 2 do something. Order by 2 is PO. Right. I'll try to see same order number again same PO. You don't have a sample here but it is possible. As of now you don't have a sample. I'll try to create and then show you that as well. So here whatever 157 is a PO ID it is mapped to the single JR. So you won't be able to see it. Right. I want one PO multiple JR. So that is not available but it is possible. So this is what PO, one many to many means. One PO can have multiple job, uh, job requests. One job request can have multiple PO. Then it is called many to many. This is what you will learn as we go in the database testing. Right? So first what we have, is it clear now? Is it clear? Please raise your hand. What is one to many and what is many to many? Is this clear? Please raise your hand if it is clear to you. Perfect. So we will talk about this more as we go along. So I now stop here at this stage. What does database structure means? Tomorrow, how who creates a structure? What is asset? What are all this importance of this? This answers the question somebody has raised and as we go we also talk about how common errors that are possible in a database and database basics from here we start creating the database table this is the subsequent classes as we take currently I stop at what is database structure how important the structure is one to one, one to many, many to many. So I will explain you more as we get into the creative. Somebody says not understood the coding because understand the concept. Coding is a slow process because for that the knowledge first is how to create a table, what is column one, what is column two. Everything plays an important role and sample has to be simple. In my case, whatever I have shown you directly on the DB, it is all a live project sample. So it may not possible to grab it, but as a concept why you know what it is. Then the concepts has to go deeper, clarity will appear, then absorption will appear. First is conceptually, yes, it is all possible, you should be aware of. Once you are aware of it, then when it is possible and what situation it is possible, practical example we have to get into. That is what we are going to drill down in our 20 hours of session. So initial concepts, database testing, finally you land up at complete understanding of what it is all about. So this is what we are going to see as we go. So tomorrow we will meet that again. Is ETL a database testing or the same? ETL is extract transform uh, L. <clears throat> I forget that L. Extract transform that means your migration, database migration loading, correct. Extract transform and loading. I extract from one database, transfer load into another. It is basically when you club, you now aware of multiple companies are taking over and every company has a different system. I need to extract all the data from different system, compile it, that is transform, load it to the another structure which I make it as a single structure. That is ETL. Right? ETL testing is a very important concept under database. So it is about logic you write to extract, transform, load. So we will talk about this as we go. Good question. We will see as we do. 
right? Toad is there. Oracle developed a tool called Toad. It's all not required. You don't have to worry about because it's not required. Once you are comfortable with the query, etc., it becomes very simple. The, for all, the most important part is this portion, the structure. So without this, what I mean is that one to one, etc. Without this, there is no database. If you understand this concept, testing becomes very, very easy. Bro, I stop here. We'll meet tomorrow. Thanks a lot.